I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. The Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like? No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. Today is Good Friday, which if Donald Trump had ever read or even briefly scanned the Bible, he might know. But if you are a Christian believer, you know that it marks the day Jesus of Nazareth, a Palestinian Jewish carpenter born in poverty as a displaced refugee in his own land, a land conquered by the Roman Empire, was crucified for the crime of defying the Roman emperor by worshiping the God of Israel rather than the emperor himself. An invented crime for which he was nailed to a cross and mocked by Roman soldiers who affixed to his head a crown of thorns and labeled him King of the Jews, a man who performed miracles for the poor, the sick, and the hated, and who, despite being the son of the divine, died for the sins of the masses, a man whose entire ministry was about serving the poor, the immigrant, and embracing the rejected. Good Friday is when Christians commemorate his sacrifice for all mankind. And then there's Donald Trump, a man born with a silver spoon in his mouth, who has only ever served himself, and who is running for president again to keep himself out of prison. And yet, he has also cast himself as a modern-day Jesus during this most sacred week in the Christian calendar. He posted this message from a follower. It's ironic that Christ walked through his greatest persecution the very week they are trying to steal your property from you. The term Christ, by the way, is not Jesus' last name. It's an Anglicization of the Greek translation of the word Messiah, the king and savior of the world. Well, to my knowledge, Jesus, the Messiah, never paid off a porn star to cover up committing adultery while his third wife was pregnant with his fifth child. Nor do I recall Jesus selling a golden calf or golden sneakers that his followers could worship as an icon to him. Jesus certainly wasn't hawking Bibles as part of a never-ending grift. But for the low, low price of $59.99, you can buy the God Bless the USA Bible, the only Bible endorsed by Trump. Because to Donald Trump, a Bible is no more sacred than a Trump board game or Trump water. It's just another cheap tchotchke to sell to his followers, as is faith. It's just another thing to sell to frightened white evangelical Christians to get them to set aside what they know about their faith and vote for Trump anyway, to keep him out of jail. Trump has turned them into cult members, shared his persecution complex with them to get them to believe he's fighting a holy war for them. But because he doesn't know anything about the actual Jesus, Donald Trump doesn't understand that a real Messiah would never say migrants are poisoning the blood of our country. What Jesus actually said was, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. And before he died, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do.